Hello. Welcome to another episode of Texas Strip Club's Uncensored Podcast. I'm DJ Jack, and I'm going to be your host for today. Well, today we're going to be talking about, well, I made another podcast. Unfortunately, I didn't think that was good enough. So here we are today with something that I think people will find more interesting than just talking about the differences between topless and fully nude strip clubs. We're going to be talking about scams. Yeah, scams. Particularly a new scam that is going around. Strip uh, is going around, and I want to save you from this. Okay, guys, so here's how we're going to start. First, I'm going to tell you that soliciting prostitution is illegal. Okay? Soliciting prostitution is illegal. And I'm going to say that one more time. Soliciting prostitution is illegal. So if I happen to give you tips that maybe might in some way shape form or fashion might help you get laid in a strip club i'm not doing it because i think that prostitution should be legal i'm doing it for entertainment and for you know entertainment values and for knowledge for knowledge because knowledge is a good thing okay so prostitution is illegal and i am in no way advocating prostitution now that we got all that crap out of the way let's begin with the scam all right, guys, first first things first, <laughs> pay for the service that you're getting, and we're going to get into that right now. One of the classic scams, and I actually had a girlfriend that did this, okay, and she told me about this. I didn't actually fall for the scam because then I wouldn't have dated her, but this stripper that I was dating named Eve, this is what she would do. So, towards the end of the night... She would always look for somebody that was from out of town or real drunk or, you know, basically in no way, shape or form to be there for a couple of days to basically make her life a living hell. Anyway, or couldn't remember. It. Anyway, so what she would do is she'd find a sucker who's from out of town or extremely drunk and tell them, hey, if you get the VIP upstairs, we can go up there and have some really good fun. And of course, these guys would look at her and be like, she's gorgeous. Let's do it. Well, she'd always ask these idiots for a deposit. Yeah, a deposit. Like you're fucking saving an apartment. She would ask them for a deposit. She'd be like, all right, it's uh, 1500 bucks to go up there and fuck me for the, for the hour that we're going to be up there. So I need a deposit of $500 to make sure that you're serious about this. And then we can do it. Well, she wasn't stupid. What she would do is she would, you know, she would basically find a guy that looked or was starting to talk about maybe doing some little something something on the side and she'd get a few lab dances from him you know so she could get some money up front just in case this scam didn't work and i know that because that's what she told me and she'd make a little money up front and then tell the guys like hey you know what this is what's going to happen so the guy would get the little vip upstairs at a place called stilettos now stilettos had an upstairs vip so the guy had to go by the vip go up a set of stairs and go to his little vip uh, area now while that's happening she would tip out the manager tip out the dj pack up her shit and get the fuck out she'd leave that's right she would leave and what would happen to the guy who would be angry that this was happening well, he'd be shit out of luck because soliciting prostitution is illegal. We just went over this first. It's illegal. So if you go to a manager saying that, hey, I need I need to complain because this girl didn't fuck me for money. They have to deal with you. And they're not going to deal with you in a way that you're going to like. They're not going to be like, let's get your money back, sir. No, they're going to be like, well, sir, you soliciting prostitution. We can't help you. So you need to leave. Yeah, if you go to a manager and you tell them that stupid shit, they have to ask you to leave. Why? Because strip clubs have what they call a sexually oriented business license, an SOB, okay? Soliciting prostitution on property is considered illegal. Now, if you happen to be stupid enough to be the guy that's going to say like, oh, I'm going to call the police, oh, I'm going to call the police. Well, you know what the police are going to do? They're going to come, they're going to hear what happened, and they're going to escort you off the property. Why? Because it's prostitution and it's illegal. So you have no recourse. None of these guys could really complain. That's why Eve did it. Because she knew, and I hate to say it this way, it was a victim, victimless crime. Well, I'm sorry. 
There was a victim, but there's no recourse. There's nothing they could do about it. They were fucked. Because they had no fucking other options. That was the scam. You find a guy who's from out of town who's probably going to be there that night. Or you find some guy that's drunk who can't really articulate himself very well to management. Yeah, I like how I use that word. Something that a drunk guy can't use. Articulate. Yes, I know. I'm awesome. Anyway. <laughs> you know, she would do this to guys and she would get away with it. Now, management would get mad. Don't get me wrong. They would get mad. Okay, they would get mad. But she also brought in a lot of, uh, well, she brought in a lot of rich guys. And guys knew her by name. Guys would come see her and her sister. So they were effectively in a rock in a hard place. So they let it slide. Do some girls do that particular scam here in Austin? You bet your fucking ass they do. And they do it often. But that's not the scam we're talking about. Okay? We're talking about a brand new scam. Now, before we go on to that, let me tell you how you guys could avoid this particular situation inside the strip club when some girl says, hey, let's fuck for a buck. Pay for services rendered. If you have to give a girl money up front and she walks away that's on you you should be slapped in the face for having that kind of disposable income okay if you're allowing them to walk away you're allowing them to leave what does that mean leave well if you need me to tell you what the word leave means you're fucked okay you deserve to lose your money you cannot pay these girls up front and then allow them to leave or them tell you that, hey, you got to go do this, you got to go do that. Do that shit first. Do not give them any money. Do not give them the opportunity to disappear. Okay? And again, I'm not advocating prostitution. I'm just saying, if you don't want to get scammed, do not let them leave with your money. Hold on to that money to the very last second. Otherwise... You don't have any money anymore. Okay? If they're not going to do the job, they don't deserve to get paid. That is probably the best line I can think of. Okay? And understand, guys, and I say this because I say I say this next part and I really and I really mean it. There are some girls that do have sex for money. Okay? They do. Why? Because they are very, very business oriented. They don't do it just to buy a purse. Well, most of the time. Some of these girls that do it and do it often with you, they do it because they understand that's a way to make money. That's a way to keep you coming back and back and back again. Okay, any girl that does it all willy nilly is stupid. She doesn't think about the future and you can catch an STD. But there are some women that understand that you can destroy your body for the sake of fun or you can destroy your body for the sake of business. Now, if you had to pick between the former and the latter, you should pick the latter. You know, drinking and smoking and fucking for money does destroy your body a little bit and if you're gonna do it do it for the sake of business and those type of women will not screw you out of money they will not scam you and again i'm not advocating prostitution i'm just saying those type of girls do not take their money up front they want you to come back but this whole podcast isn't about those particular type of girls we're talking about this epidemic of scamming that is happening now i gave you guys an example of the first scam with my ex-girlfriend eve she used to find suckers at the end of the night right before she was going to leave and then she would leave with their money you have no recourse you cannot if you call the police they will arrest you if, i want you guys to understand that if you call the police and say i gave this girl money to fuck me what are you going to do about it? They're going to tell you, turn around, sir. You're under arrest because you just admitted to soliciting prostitution. 
Okay, this is how these girls are getting away with this scam. You cannot report to the police that you are the victim of a crime. That sucks. But here's the new scam, okay? And I've learned about this from some waitresses, dancers, managers, and especially customers. Okay? So this isn't just something that's all willy-nilly. All right, here's the new scam. When I first heard about it, I didn't think I heard it right. So these two girls find this guy. He's a regular, which was their big fucking mistake. Because again, a regular at certain strip clubs can get you fired. And they happen to get these particular women fired. But wait. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go into all, before I go any farther, I need to understand, I need to tell you guys, there's a whole new generation of dancers, okay? There were there were like two generations of dancers, okay? The generation of dancers that I met when I started working here in Austin 12 years ago, maybe 13, I forget how long I've been here at this point. These girls were very business oriented. They started thinking about their future. They cultivated customers. They were hardworking. And more importantly, they didn't scam people because they understood the proverb, you can skin a sheep many times, but you can only eat them once. Okay, if you don't know what that means, here's what it means. You can get money from one customer many times, but if you fuck him over once, you will never get another dollar. Okay, and a lot of these new girls, there are a lot of these like, oh my God, I want to live my best life, yellow Instagram model, all that kind of crap. These girls have, not all of them, not all of them, some of them don't have any morals, they don't have a, a, a sense of a, um, a sense of conduct, they will scam you for every dollar. It doesn't matter if they're only going to make $400 today. They don't care that they could eventually make as much as $50,000 off of you in five year period. No, they want that $400 today. And that's why this scamming, this new scam is becoming an epidemic. So here's what's happened. This, this is what I heard first and it wasn't, it wasn't the only time. So these two girls find a guy, they tell him, hey, we'll fuck you. You know, they knew the guy had money and they told him, hey, we'll fuck you for money. We'll take it to a hotel. And they did not. Here's the key word. This is how the guy knew. Well, this is how he thought it wasn't a scam. He said they did not say they wanted a deposit. Any girl that wants a deposit to meet you at a hotel is robbing you. So this guy, being the regular at the strip club game, did not hear we need a deposit. They're like, this is where we're going to meet you. So meet us there. So... He went with these girls to the Holiday Inn. I'm not, I don't remember which one. They went to a Holiday Inn. They, you know, he paid for the room. They went up there. And here's where the scam happened. They're, of course, getting ready. And they're all doing this shit. Well, in the course of, oh my god, we're getting ready. But I got called away on an emergency. Well, this girl has to leave. This girl has to leave. Well, that sucks. What are you going to do? Well, here's what's happening. The one girl that doesn't have an emergency suddenly starts saying, oh my God, well, she's leaving. I want all the money. I'll do extra dirty shit. I will do this. I'll take it up the ass. I'll do whatever you want. You want me to lick your toes while jacking you off? Suddenly, she's willing to do anything and everything under the sun to get all of that money that is right there. Because if you promise to give him $1,000 a piece, well, now that girl wants a $2,000. And she will work hard to impress upon you that you should give her that money. And these guys are agreeing. And what do they do? They put that money right there by the, bed, by the bedside. All right? Right there by the bedside. Now, the girl that didn't have the emergency is what happens and what you didn't see while all this is going on is that the girl that got a call, that got called away on the emergency took not only her shit but took the other girl's shit with her yeah the girl that didn't have the emergency now all of her stuff magically walked out the door with the other girl 
So what does that mean? Well, this one girl that's staying behind, she's wearing everything that belongs to her. Yeah. So, let's recap a second. Two girls tell one guy, we're going to go with you to the hotel. So let's go. When they get there, one girl, let's just call her Maggie, okay? Maggie gets a call and, oh my God, I've got to leave. There's an emergency. I got to go. So she takes off. But Maggie doesn't just leave with her stuff. She takes Joanna's stuff with her. Okay? Because Joanna is talking to you saying, it's okay if she's got to leave. I want all that money. I'm going to be extra nasty. And while you guys are negotiating, what is happening? Maggie is taking all of Joanna's stuff with her. So everything that Joanna has is what she's wearing. So here's the scam. These girls who are staying behind like Joanna, remember, all, remember, Maggie took all of her shit. So if she runs out the door, she ain't, she ain't gonna leave nothing behind. She tells you, you know what, we gotta get you warmed up. I've gotta suck your dick. So they, you know, they get that money. I should have been very clear about that. As soon as Maggie leaves, and Joanna's like, well, you know what? I want all that money. And you, she takes that money. She puts it in her pocket. She puts it in her pocket. Or she angles herself to where she's close to that money. Keyword, guys. She might be suddenly having you move your body so she can suck your dick. And she can easily grab that money. And while she's sucking your dick, that money is disappearing in her pocket if it isn't already in her pocket. And remember, at this point in time, your pants are around your ankle. Now you are getting a blowjob. That's the only, only ray of sunshine in this entire situation. But before the blowjob ends, Joanna runs out the door. That's right. Joanna, who has the money in her pocket, runs to the door of that hotel room, opens it, Hauls ass down, finds the stairs, runs out of the hotel, right to Maggie, who's waiting in the car for them both to leave. Yeah, that's right. The new scam is two girls are offering guys to take them to hotel rooms. And all of a sudden, one of the girls has an emergency and she has to go. But when she leaves, she takes the other girl's stuff with her. So the girl who stays behind talks you into giving her all the money. Now she'll either get it right then and there or she will angle you so she can easily grab it and run out the door. Now remember, at that point in time, you're either going to have your pants off or your pants around your ankles and you are in no position to suddenly run after a girl out of the fucking hotel room because like I just said, you might have your pants around your ankles or you might have your pants off, no socks, no shoes. More importantly, no fucking pants or underwear. Your dick is hanging out and you can't run out of that hotel room because you will get arrested for being naked in public. It sucks, right? That's the new scam going on. And it's not just one girl. There are several girls I'm hearing about. Some of these girls are working in teams. Some of these girls are doing it at the drop of a hat. They're being like, oh my God, get naked, blah, blah, blah. Suddenly they're getting a phone call. And this is what I heard what happened with one girl who was not with another chick. She got a phone call. She's like, oh my God, just one second. She'll be jacking you off because this is what I got told by a customer. Putting the phone to her face talking and pretending oh my god what happened and then grab the money and run out the fucking door because her shit is right there by the front door yeah or sometimes they don't even bring their stuff up with them at all they just walk up there with nothing they're not holding any purses they're not holding anything except for keys and a phone and you're the one there with her with your dick out while a girl runs out of your hotel room and you can't exactly call the cops. Why? Because prostitution is illegal and soliciting it is illegal is illegal too. So that guys is the new scam. These girls are getting you 
When your pants are on your ankles, they're taking that money and they're hauling ass out the door. Now, some customers have gotten these girls fired. Okay, that is the rumor. Certain girls have gotten fired. There's also rumors that certain girls at certain clubs are not getting fired. I'm not going to mention names. I'm not going to mention clubs. <coughs> Palacio. <coughs> anyway, that this is the scam going on with some of these girls. And some of them are getting fired and some of them aren't. So, guys, pay attention and listen. I gave you two examples of scams. And I gave you an in-depth, in-depth description of the newest scam that is happening. So, please, pay attention rewind and listen to that several times if you have to but that is the new scam being done by these new batch of new strippers here in austin texas so be careful be careful if you're gonna get fucked for a buck pick a girl that you know has been there for a while and has not never screwed anybody over because the new girl on the block might just be robbing you as she runs away from that fucking block Thank you for listening. I hope all this information is not only helpful, it keeps you from getting scammed in a brand new way. So guys, thank you for listening. Please share, like, and subscribe can you, so you can hear every single new video that I come out with. And it really helps me grow. And more importantly, it helps you find me when I put out a new video on YouTube every single week. So please share, like, and subscribe if you can be bothered to. If not, to hell with it. I know you're going to find me again. All right. Thank you for listening to my ramblings and I will see you next time. Peace.